So, um, as you may know, we just passed 1 billion users uh, in monthly actives in July. That's a big deal for Messenger. We also have 33,000 pages enable their bots in Messenger now, and the number is growing steadily. We have 34,000 developers building for Messenger, uh, building bots for Messenger. Like these are all major milestones for us, uh, milestones, and uh, we like in general we see a steady growth for the whole platform. Um, do we have notes? No. <laughs> cool. Thank you. At, like at least here. Um, okay. One billion, thirty-three thousand, thirty-four thousand. Nice. Um, So, since launch, we were listening to your feedback and requests. And just a few weeks ago, we released a new update that introduced payments, better web views, sharing, and ads for bots. And we are going to keep investing in these features a lot. So we just started to roll this out, and you may start getting access to payments and, and other features. We often get asked to share our roadmap. And though I cannot tell you in detail, let me talk about our current priorities. Number one for us always is user experience. Better tracking would help you to, to learn more about your audience. And as the quality of bots getting better and better, we started to think about bots' reach and scalability. Um, unfortunately, I can't really tell more about the roadmap. Feel free to find me later and like, like yeah, if, if, if you have any questions, just ask me in person. Um, there are multiple reasons to build for Messenger platform, and I'd like to highlight some of them. Number one is rich UI. We already support a great, of UI, like a great list of UI, uh, UI elements, like uh, structured templates, carousels, buttons, quick replies, the menu, and so on. Um, and we will make sure to cover all the future use cases. Today, I wanted to give you a sneak peek into our new template, the vertical list template that we are going to launch later this fall. This is a great template for commerce, for media, and for other use cases. The second thing I wanted to highlight is payments that we just launched in beta. And we started to give access to developers. Note that payments for now are US only, and we do not support virtual goods. With Messenger payments, you get one click at transactions. Well, technically three clicks, but it's still better than the web views, you know. Um, that's because we prefer shipping, uh, I mean, we prefer user info, shipping info, and uh, payments, so you don't really have to enter all of that as the user. Um, you can also use native payments dialog from the web view. That means you can still have your own custom checkout flow on web and just inject messenger payments on the checkout stage. We already support PayPal and Stripe and more to come. Here is how the payment flow looks like. You get the bubble with the buy button, you click the buy button, you pay, and then it's done. You don't have to do anything else as the user. On the page side, we support PayPal and Stripe, so you can just connect this merge account to your page and start receiving payments right away. You can request access to payments by following the link from the slide. Another thing we started to look more into is web views. Many bots use web views to extend their flows beyond just threads. That's because may, uh, web views are great to consume large chunks of content and to provide rich input. This also allows developers to iterate on their MWeb checkout flows and experiences while sharing it with a bot, so no need to double develop. Uh, we also created a Messenger extension SDK for your web pages. This is a new JavaScript SDK that allows you to uh, get user identity, call additional methods, and invoke payments all within a web view. Um, another direction we started to explore recently is sharing. People who are having great experience with bots want to be able to easily share this experience with their friends and family. For that, we created a new share button. 
Um, attribution messages, you can see it at the top. It is a great way to drive new people into your bot. All the messages shared from the bots will get the attribution, not just with the share button. And we also added a way to share a bot itself from the thread details. And we started to convert m.me links into rich shares. So all of that can increase the number of users you get from, from sharing the content. And finally, um, there's a feature that I'm personally really proud of, and I think that's a great thing. Uh, this is somebody we enabled from day one, and not too many people know about that. We call it aggregators. And by that, we mean apps that manage multiple pages in a self-serve way. Examples are Shopify, ChatFuel, and more. The way to do it is with Facebook login, but not for users, for page admins. Here is an example of Shopify having Facebook login in their shop setup. When page admins go through this flow, Shopify can get their page tokens automatically. That allows your app to manage a lot of pages at once with no need of getting page access. There is how the flow looks like. First two steps, user login and pages access, are managed by Facebook. You may have seen it on web for other apps, like not just for messenger bots. This is the old technology. And then page selection step number three is added by developers. That's really all page admins have to do to enable a bot for their pages if you build that flow. We see this at the future of vertical solutions. You don't have to build bot for all the rest, like one bot per restaurant. You can just build one bot and scale it to all the restaurants, or like to all the coffee shops, and so on. I strongly recommend considering this option. You can check manage pages permission to learn more and follow the link on the slide on how to generate page tokens uh, that way. And finally, I have one more thing. Um, on growth. Growing your bot is still difficult, and um, we get it, and we're working on it. In the meantime, here is where a lot of potential volume slips. It's newsfeed by converting page followers, it's web with send to messenger plugin, and it's ads. There are other ways, but these three are really main ways to drive traffic into your bot right now. Um, that's really all I had. Um, you can check our docs and Facebook group. I'm excited about the event. Thanks for, for, for having that. Um, I hope there will be more conferences like that. I think we have some time for questions if you'd like, or we can just finish on that. As I was actually pretty fast. Huh? Does anyone have a question? Does, Anybody? It, oh. Does anyone have a question? We have like four minutes. It's like Donahue. Uh, I've actually got two quick questions. One is, is sharing live now? Is the sharing function available currently? Yeah, sharing is out. Okay. You and can use it. The other question on payments, um, we have a customer that wants to use Ticketmaster um, or third parties. Is that uh, available as well? Or is it up to the, you know, that, them to have their own payment schedule? I mean, as opposed to just PayPal or Stripe. Yeah, so now we support just Stripe and PayPal on the like, page side and more to come. In the meantime, you can still use your own checkout flows. We don't uh, block that, so that's available. But you have to build your own uh, on your own. Okay, so each vendor, like a, um, like a Ticketmaster, would have to build an interface into PayPal or Stripe. Is that how you'd recommend doing it? Um, I'm not sure. Let's chat about that later. Okay. You can find me. Who had some over here? Um, I just uh, wonder how involved uh, your AI group is uh, with the chatbots at all. About AI? Yes, uh, Lacoon and his group. Are, yeah. they, uh, are they doing anything behind the scenes analyzing uh, text in the chats? Uh, other than you, you, know, you say you're doing the scraping uh, of the URLs. You mean on our side? Yes. No, yeah, currently we don't do anything available to you at least. Uh, well, internally. Internally. Internally, well, I cannot share that. Okay. Uh -huh. Anyone else? 
Give Mikhail a hand. That was really good. Thanks for starting oh, us off. You.